Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another Web3 hacking tutorial and smart contract auditing guide. In this video, I will show you how you can learn Web3 security for free with CTFs and we will review the best three capture the flags CTFs challenges that are available for you for smart contract hacking. Cover Ethernet, then Vulnerable DeFi and Paradigm, we will see the difference between them, which one is better or worse for you and in which order you should tackle them. Now without further ado, let's get started. Before we start to review and compare the different CTFs that are available for you in smart contract hacking, I first want to tell you why CTFs matter and why you should break those challenges. First of all, I believe that hands-on training is the best way to learn a skill, especially when it's highly technical skill like cybersecurity or Web3 hacking. Another huge advantage is that those CDFs are based on real-world scenarios and real-world attack simulations. So by tackling those challenges, breaking those smart contracts and hacking them, you are preparing to the real battlefield. These CTFs are helping you to think both like a hacker, an auditor, and a developer that knows how to write secure code. And in my opinion, the fastest learning path and the fastest way to gain the smart contract hacking creativity mindset is first to build the foundational knowledge, learning EVM, Ethereum virtual machine, how Bitcoin and Ethereum works, the solidity language in and out. Then you want to start tackling CDFs because they are hands on practice. Now, sometimes you might feel that those CDFs are a bit too challenging, and this is something that we'll cover in this video, how you can overcome these challenges and which CDFs in which order you should take first to make sure you get your strike and success feeling. But what a lot of people like to do is to combine those CTFs together with a course. The course is going to help you build this deep knowledge, both the theoretical and the practical one, and also some courses like mine, like the Smart Contract Hacking course, is giving you access to a private Discord community where you can get mentored by teachers or other students that are going through the same journey as you are. Then, once you complete CDFs and courses, this is the time to do the real thing, to master smart contract security by participating in bug bounty programs, auditing competitions, maybe taking some freelance auditing clients, or maybe applying to a job in a Web3 security firm. So if you already started some CDFs and you feel that you're a bit stuck or you want to take your career seriously and have a shortcut and instead of gathering all the information all over the internet, all over the place, you can definitely check the smart contract hacking course, which covers all these topics that you can see here on the screen together with hands-on exercises and walkthrough video solution, just like the one you're watching now, but more in details. And of course, there are other perks that come for free, like access to the best Web3 security community and of course, the official SSC8 Solidity Smart Contract Hacking Certification that might increase your chances of landing a job in the Web3 security industry. The first Web3 Capture the Flank challenge that I do recommend you to start with is the Ethernaut by Open Zeppelin. Open Zeppelin is one of the most well-known companies in the Web3 security industry, and they created this challenge for free where you have 33 different progressive challenges that will teach you all the fundamentals of smart contract security. In these challenges, you're going to see and try to exploit different common solidity exploits like re-entry attacks, access control vulnerabilities and arithmetic overflows and other flows and more, of course. And this is more beginner friendly. You can literally solve these exercises directly from your browser. You don't need any development environment or to install any tools. And the challenges here are more beginner friendly there rather than other CTFs that I'm going to present to you later. And at any point of time, if you get stuck, you can definitely check out my complete playlist on this YouTube channel of how I solve Ethernaut challenge with 
Foundry. So you get two birds, one shot. You learn smart contract hacking and you learn to use the most common smart contract development and testing framework, which is Foundry. So definitely check out the playlist and subscribe to the channel. Also, at any point of time, you can check out this Eternaut Foundry Solutions Johnny Time repository publicly on GitHub, has 66 stars and 13 forks. So if you get stuck, you can definitely take a look at the solutions. And this readme file also links to the videos and the, the complete article. So this is the best repository to learn smart contract hacking for free in GitHub. Okay, so you completed Eternaut and now you want some more realistic DeFi hacks. What do you do? You start tackling them vulnerable DeFi. This is one of the most interesting and fun challenges and CTFs to break. And it comes with 18 unique exercises that are based on real DeFi hacks from unsuitable to withdrawal. This is the new version, version V4. And here we use Foundry. And again, if you get stuck, I have this complete playlist solution on YouTube. I'm currently recording and solving the challenges one by one. So there will be posted. Currently, we have two challenges posted, but there will be more in the future. I'm already working on that. So definitely stay tuned and definitely check out these video tutorials of how to solve and tackle the challenges if you get stuck. And of course, we have also the GitHub repository with all the V4 solutions. So if you are not sure how to write your exploit and POC, you can always check it out. The cool thing about them vulnerable DeFi is that these contracts are very realistic and they mimic real DeFi protocols and real DeFi hacks that happened in the past. So by tackling these challenges, same like tackling the challenges in the smart contract hacking course, you're going to get real experience. The last CTF that I want to talk about is the Paradigm CTF 2023. And this is an annualized CTF that is organized by the Paradigm company, one of the biggest Web3 companies. Now, these challenges are way more complicated and more advanced that are going to teach you to work with smart contract bytecodes, exploding cross-chain protocols, and so on. You can say that the Paradigm CDF separates between hobbyists and actual professionals and smart contract security researchers. You even have some exercises here in Cairo and very low level code that you need to break and hack. The cool thing is that if you also participate in the CTF in its live version that comes every year, you can also earn very nice recognition in the Web3 industry and create a name for yourself and maybe get perks later. So let's compare all the three CDFs that we discussed. The first one was Eternaut. It's beginner friendly and it's going to teach you core solidity exploits. It's very good for learning fundamentals and getting the basics. Then you want to move and check Dan Vulnerable DeFi that is more advanced, more intermediate, more DeFi specific realistic attacks that's going to give you some real world experience. And the advanced one is the Paradigm CDF that you want to tackle later that is way more advanced than the previous one. So we definitely want to make sure to tackle it at the end. To summarize, CDFs like Eternaut, Dem Vulnerable Defy and Paradigm CDFs are non-negotiable to master the Web3 security skills, pair them with structured learning experience and a professional course to accelerate your Web3 auditing and security career. If you're serious and ready to start hacking, check out the website, get your free trial or leave a comment below to get a special discount on the complete training program. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more smart contract auditing content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.